Hey, what's going on everybody? TG here, I'm back with another video. Guys, sorry for the late video, you know, I try to take some time to really just digest what transpired today and what happened in the market. As you guys can see, Dow Jones dropping 3.4%, S&P dropping 3.5%, NASDAQ dropping 3.73%. You know, it was a brutal day today um, across the board for basically every single stock. And it was a very bad day for the portfolio. We actually went into a margin call twice today, which is never good. Um, you know, never good when you're going into, you know, margin calls. And we went ahead and deposited a thousand more and we still ended up going into a margin call again. And we were forced to sell all of our shares of Workhorse as well. So <clears throat> overall, just just a really rough day in the market. And, you know, it's just one of those days. And it's it's a combination of many things. Okay, we obviously have the uncertainty of the election coming up in less than a week. Okay, we have corona cases hitting all-time highs. And we have no sense of stimulus happening at all. So between the uncertainty, the COVID on the rise, and no stimulus in sight, the markets, well, they sell off. And when they sell off, they sell off. If we go ahead and we look at the S&P 500 um, over the past week, it's been bad and it's, it has not recovered at all. S and P dropping 4.31% since the start of the week, sitting up at 343 down to 328. Now that's a big, that's a big jump for an entire broad index like the S and P 500 and other stocks have been hammered even worse. My American airlines that I went ahead and sold 11 and a half puts on and 11 puts on is getting absolutely butchered this week. <clears throat> you see it's down 13% this week alone, which is astonishing considering the fact that how much it's actually fallen this year. Okay. Now, American Airlines, I feel like will rebound huge on any sort of stimulus news and or airline bailout. Now that could come in the next week that could come in the next month, but I feel like it is going to happen because if it isn't going to happen, then they have no other recourse of action, but to furlough a bunch of employees. And obviously, the government doesn't want a bunch of people on unemployment when they already have unemployment numbers at really, really high levels. So what does this mean for the average investor and what, how we can play off this downturn? Well, a sell-off like this isn't a sell-off like in 2008. Okay, it's not a financial crisis. It's not something that is going to last permanently. This is a virus that is slowly getting under control and obviously is going to have some peaks and valleys. And right now we are currently in some peaks of areas in the country and around the world, especially in Europe, having record high cases at a time. Now, <clears throat> people like to panic sell when things get bad. And with the uncertainty of this election coming up and the corona cases spiking and stimulus not seeming to happen, well, what do people do when all three happen? Well, they you know run for the hills and take their money. But no one ever got rich panicking, and that's exactly what we have to do here. You know, we, we don't want to panic in this situation, and we don't want to sell stocks that are clearly undervalued. Okay, if we look at Amazon, Amazon right now is trading less than it was on its last earnings when it blew it out of the water. Okay, now this is a perfect time to get into Amazon. You know, Amazon has been sitting between 3000 and 3500 or 3550 for the past three months. Okay. Now Amazon is reporting earnings tomorrow, which is going to be huge. And I cannot wait to see it. As you guys can see, I have 18.8 .8 shares of Amazon, a market value of around $60,000 worth. Now that is my entire portfolio basically is in Amazon. We also have a little bit of CVM and a little bit of Pfizer that we picked up on the dip. And we will be picking up American Airlines as well and Apple. So we're going to be using a lot of margin. Um, but I'm hoping that Apple will blow through earnings and Amazon will blow through earnings and this won't be, a, won't be an issue at all. But as you guys can clearly see, we're in a margin call again and I got to go ahead and deposit some funds tomorrow. Um, especially if Amazon earnings are bad, I'm going to have to deposit a lot or I'm going to have to sell all of my Pfizer and, you know, probably sell these as well to, you know, just, I, you know, you got to get rid of the margin call. Otherwise they're going to sell articles for you. And, you know, you have to, you have to take care of that. Otherwise they're going to just sell your position for you. So we don't want that to happen. And, you know, it's just one of those days where it's a really, really rough day in the market. And it almost is one of those days that makes you sick to your stomach to look, look at. And, you know, I was talking to a lot of you guys today in the discord 
And a lot of you guys are feeling the same way. You know, some of you have lost it all. And, you know, I truly feel awful. You know, I, I feel awful for you guys because, you know, there's no good feeling, you know, looking at your money and seeing down that much. But uh, the key is to not panic. And this is why I stress you guys buy equity, buy shares. Okay, go long stock rather than options because, you know, people holding calls today, well, they got absolutely slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered. Okay. You know, and it's because calls, yes, you can make a ton of money on them. But if you have a sell off on a massive scale like this one, that's the type of things that will absolutely slaughter your calls and put your account way in the hole. So, as you guys can see, this week has obviously not been a good week. Down, you know, a pretty good amount of money. But you know what? For the past month, we're still up 4,500 bucks. And for the past three months, we're still up over 10 Gs. Now, that is pretty good considering the fact that this is one of the worst sell-offs. And today was the worst day since June in the market. Okay. So even with all of this, we're still up pretty big. Okay. And that's always a good sign. And we're setting ourselves up for tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is earnings for Apple and Amazon. And I will be watching these very, very closely. As you guys can see, I have Apple 113 puts to buy 200 shares if it does dip under 113. And obviously, I have a workhorse put, which we're going to have to buy as well. So, you know, guys, that's really about it. You know, just it's a it's a brutal day in the market. We're in a margin call and we got to find a way to uh, to get back to where we were. But I'm figuring Amazon is going to have some killer earnings and our account is going to go through the stratosphere. And hopefully that will happen. A lot of you guys are on Amazon as well and hoping that it does stellar. And, you know, I, I have a great feeling and with a lot of research that it will. So anyways, guys, I hope you're holding up well. I hope you're doing okay. Obviously, it's rough. It's a rough day for everyone. Um, but, you know, we're in this together. And the only people that obviously did well today are the Bears who are feasting on their tendies and, you know, doing pretty well today. So it's a rough one, but you know what? It's all part of the game that we play called the stock market. So anyways, guys, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day to fight, and we're going to come out on top. So guys, hope you're doing great. Join the Discord, link in the description below. I'd love to talk to you guys, answer any questions, or just uh, be there at a vent too if you need me. But anyways, guys, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video tomorrow for the big day of Amazon and Apple earnings. Guys, let me know what you're looking forward to and have a wonderful day. Take it easy. Bye.